Hello there, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Gemini, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, I'm going to split this deck and we're going to see what we get here. The star card, look at that, signs, they're all around you, Geminis. I'm also a Gemini sun and rising. I've been seeing signs all around me. So those of you that have seen feathers, perhaps you've been seeing birds, butterflies, the universe right now, Gemini is trying to communicate with you. There's a message coming through. They're trying to let you know that you're on the right path. Some of you have made a decision. Some of you have made a, a, a wish here, a, a manifestation. This is communication that's coming in, letting you know that whatever it is that you're wishing for, whatever it is that you're dreaming about, whatever it is that you're deciding, it's all coming into fruition. That decision that you're making here, Gemini's, you're meant to actually walk down a new path. So I feel there's an opening there for you. And the guidance is there. The signs are letting you know that whatever this other thing is this other path from what you're currently on you're actually meant to walk down it, and I feel that you're receiving the confirmations from the universe that you're meant to actually pivot okay so I want you to know that right away there's something going on here and there's many many signs coming in for you we've got the death card so now these are two major arcana cards I want you all to use your own intuition with my cards because you re will receive intuitive messages. Spirit guides do speak through each and every one of us. So whatever it is that you're receiving through my readings, through these cards, that is what you're meant to hear today, okay? Now, with this death card, there's something that's about to end in your life, whether you create this ending or if the universe creates it. It's meant to happen. Um... For some of you, I'm getting a tower card moment. I don't know what's going on here, but some of you are going through some sort of turbulent energy in your life. Now, there has to be a sacrifice that needs to be made around something in your life, something that isn't helping you move forward. And I feel that you know what this is, Gemini, okay? For me, I know what this is. I have to take care of my health. And I haven't been doing a great job, so I have to stop eating unhealthy. That's a sacrifice I have to make around my health and my well-being. For some of you, it's going to be different, but I feel that you know what this is. There's the sun shining through in the background. This could be the sun or it can be the moon, but there's light there. So it's almost like the universe is letting you know what sacrifice it is that you have to make somewhere in your life. And some of you are asking for that clarity because with the star card, there's almost like uncertainty, fogginess around what you need to do now moving forward. And this is Spirit Guides giving you that clarity that whatever it is that you're thinking here, Gemini, around something in your life, especially something that's not benefiting you, something that's holding you back, it's time to let it go. Okay, so that's coming through for you today. And the Ace of Cups, look at this. This new beginning is coming into your life here, and this is going to make you very happy. There's new emotions that this new beginning is going to touch within you. Feelings for some of you that you haven't felt before. This is something that you've wanted. So it's almost kind of like this wish finally coming true and you're being so excited, so grateful and this disbelief around it almost, right? But definitely believe that it's coming because whatever this is, it's going to open you up to a brand new path. And that's the path that you're seeing and you're having, a, uh, having to make a decision around. So it's very interesting here. So let me take a look at these cards for you, Gemini, and see what this spread is kind of sharing with me. I definitely feel that some of you are trying to manifest something into your life, whether this is a life, right? Your reality that you want to live. Some of us have really big dreams and that dream is so clear in your mind. You're starting to now see the signs. Spirit guides in the universe are guiding you towards that dream. And it's very, very real. I want you to know that. That, that dream that you have, Gemini, is very real, that you are able to bring that into your reality, whatever that dream is for you. 
And the signs are there giving you confirmations that yes, this is going to happen, but there needs to be a, a sacrifice made somewhere in your life in order to bring this new energy in. Okay. So what is it that you're seeing? Comment below here, Gemini's, because I do feel that some of you are getting clear signs from the universe that you're seeing them. I actually had a friend uh, a couple days ago come over, share with me all the signs that are coming in for her. She had a hummingbird that uh, was hurt and landed inside of her home through the window, which she helped regain the little bird's energy and let it fly away. Not only that, she had other things like feathers. Uh, she also had a butterfly land on her finger. She had her finger out and the butterfly landed on her finger. So there's transformations happening. She's from Mexico, came out here, right? She has to go back, but she's trying to figure things out. And the signs are all there of what she needs to do. So I feel that you're seeing clear signs here, Gemini's, that spirit guides in the universe are letting you know and guiding you towards that. And there's a decision that some of you are making somewhere in your life around a certain situation, whether this is you. Um, I feel there's like an opening and, and you can see this door. It's like right there and you're holding on the door lock and you're kind of like on the doorknob and you're about to open it. But there's a little bit of fear there because it's different. It's new. It's unknown. It's, it is unknown territory for some of you Gemini's and spirit guides are wanting you to tap into your inner strength in that, into that inner courage and be brave and bold and take that leap of faith, knowing that whatever this path is, whatever this door is, it's meant to be there for you to open and walk in. Okay. So <laughs> This could be you leaving a job and starting a new one. And I mention this all the time on my channel because I do feel for some of you you're wanting to take a risk around something that has to do with your career, your finances, maybe around your love relationship, around family. I even see relocation happening here for some of you as well, that you're going to take that leap of faith and move and be with somebody that you love. This could be a long distance romance, right? And really uh, enter this new world. So making a sacrifice to leave your home to um, start something fresh in another city, in another country. All right, those dreams, perhaps you are wanting a home. You want to buy your home. And of course, prices are crazy high right now. I feel this wish is going to come true for you, Gemini, to buy a home. It's all about focusing in, having a clear vision around that home. How does it make you feel? What are you doing in order to create that dream and bring it as a reality, right? You have to focus and you have to take action. You have to meet the universe halfway here, my friends, because the universe doesn't do all the work. It does align everything for you and, and it's up to you to see the signs that it brings in and guide you towards it because what happens is, okay, I'll give you a story about myself. I wanted to buy my first home and I had saved up a down payment, half of my down payment. And my dad, he, he's uh, raised myself and my siblings to really earn our own. Never gave us help because he felt that if he gave us stuff, that would give us that mentality of always taking. So he wanted us to earn our own finances, uh, make our own way in life. So I had saved up some money, half of the money for a down payment. And I, and I approached him. This is the first time I ever asked my dad for anything, right? Because he was the kind of guy that's like, hell no, I ain't giving you nothing. You make it on your own here, child. So when I first, this was in my um, mid thirties, I had saved up some money to buy my first apartment. And I reached out to him and I said, dad, I, I've got this amount of money and I need you to help me with the other half. And he said, no. And I said, listen, I'm showing you that I've done this. So I made my um, claim here with him and I had to call him a few times because he's so good at saying no that I had to break him down just a little bit to convince him to show him that I'm capable of owning a home and paying the mortgage. I have a secure job, all of these kind of things. And then he finally said, okay, let's go. I'll go give you the money. So that's kind of how I made something happen in my life around a home. So it's almost like there's a path being opened up for you. There's guidance there on how you can make this a reality for yourself. And sometimes we have to be quick thinkers, smart thinkers, resourceful, and really kind of pave our own path here. So I feel there's something coming in. It doesn't necessarily have to be a home. It could be something completely different for you. And I do feel that there's something guiding you towards the opportunities, aligning you to 
people or things that are going to make this dream a reality for you, Gemini. So be open and receptive to this energy. Be aware, be in your present moment, especially those of you that are going through um, chaotic energy because I'm seeing a little bit of turbulence, a little bit of static energy, which is kind of distractions and things that are going on that are taking away your focus from that ultimate goal. That's when you bring yourself, ground yourselves and really be aware of your surroundings and where you are in life and look for the signs. You don't even have to look for them because they're there and you're going to start noticing them. Especially after this reading, I feel that a majority of you are going to see the signs popping up all around you. So they're there, my friends. I feel that they are there. And for some of you, these are going to come in at nighttime. So you're going to see a comet, stars. I don't know. There's some, some something in the sky here that you're meant to see, Gemini. So be aware of the skies. Now, death, there's an ending somewhere in your life that is necessary here, Geminis. This is a major arcana card, so is a star card. So there's major things happening in the background of your lives. And it's all about us being aware and seeing some of the stuff that is going on by being in the present moment. Now, whatever this is, for you, Gemini, this is, does not benefit you. The death card is letting you know that there's something there that is kind of um, drying things out, almost kind of taking away your energy, taking away things where you're not feeling growth, where you're not feeling where you, you know, some of you are in a stagnant position. It's not necessarily taking away for some of you. It is taking away. The death can suck the life out of you. Um, it's because somewhere in your life, you have to make a change. Something has to end. And sometimes this could be a toxic workplace that is just taking your energy, really putting you in this negative vibration. It's kind of lowering you down a little bit. And this is where, and you, Gemini, you know what this place is. You know what your death card is and you know where you have to make a sacrifice. And once you do this and you stick to that decision of leaving this out of your life, your life is going to change in a big way here. I'm telling you right now, your life is going to change in a big way. And this is necessary in order for your growth. I feel there's a new beginning. There's a new path, right? We mentioned this. There's a new door you're meant to cross through. And something has to be left behind. You cannot take this in this new chapter of your life. So what is this for you? What do you have to make a sacrifice around, right? You have to make this now. You can't wait too long. It's time now to do it. This is what spirit guides want of you is to let go of, Perhaps it's an addiction. Perhaps it's coffee. Maybe there's something that is giving you ill health, right? Maybe there's something, there's a habit that you have and perhaps you're unaware of it. And if you're unaware of it, then I suggest that you write down and document your day. You know, there's a good exercise to try. It's before you go to bed at night. This is for those of you that like to journal and it's great to journal, by the way. Um, I've been practicing it in my life. It's made a big difference. I'm not a writer. I, I have a really hard time writing and articulating. I'm big. Thank you. Thank goodness to my channel here that I'm getting better at speaking. I'm getting better at journaling. I'm getting better at reading. So at the end of your day, before you go to bed, play your day out backwards, write it down backwards every single night to, from the, you know, from the moment that you go to bed, play it out backwards until you woke up, you know, to, um, from the moment that you woke up out of bed. And if you practice this every day and then read through it, you're going to notice some of the habits you have. It's kind of like documenting when you go to a nutritionist, they ask you to document what you're eating every day to, in order to figure out, you know, why you're, you're not feeling good or if you're not losing weight, that sort of thing. So, and then you'll know exactly what it is. But I feel for a majority of you, you know what this is. There's something that needs to come to an end in your life in order for you to make room for the new. And there's profound changes coming into your life. And it has to, ha this ending has to happen. For some of you, you're experiencing an ending right now. There's like a tower moment, like your world is being shook up right now. It's like the world is shaking things and things are falling out of your life that aren't meant to be there. This could be people, habits, things. Whatever these are, you're experiencing this Gemini's. Okay, and this is necessary in order for your, your growth, in order for you to ascend here, my friends. Okay, so 
whatever these endings are, they never feel good, right? Because they're a habit. They've been in our lives for a while. I do feel whatever this is, it's been in your life for a little while. And it's gonna, you're gonna have to go through a little bit of an uncomfortable period here, but know that you're someone who is very capable and strong enough to overcome whatever this death is, okay? And not only that, once you do that, Gemini, look at this. There's something beautiful coming into your life here that is going to expand your world. This is an opportunity where you're going to tap into emotions you never felt before. And I'm getting this freedom, this feeling of being free here. And your cup is going to be overflowing. There's going to be a lot of satisfaction and fulfillment in your life because of this. And some of you are kind of like, you know what? It's been long overdue. This is my clarity. This is my confirmation that I have to make the sacrifice in my life now. And some of you are actually going to do this and you're going to experience this Ace of Cups in your life. This is a door that's been open and you're seeing the light shining on you. You're feeling the warmth of this energy. And as you're going through this, I feel there's new beginnings with people. I'm seeing new people entering your life, a soulmate energy, a friendship energy, a kindred spirit, a twin flame. Whoever this is, whatever these relationships are, whatever these emotions are, these are so freeing. These are so happy. These are just so good. You're going to feel so good here, Gemini's. And this is really a new life for you. This is your second wind here, my friends. I feel that some of you are on this mission to really live this life of happiness, live in this life of abundance. And this is what spirit guides are offering you. The signs are all around you that this is coming in, that this is coming in and you have to prepare and you have to really clear the energies that are in your life right now that are keeping you in a stagnant position, that are holding you back, that aren't benefiting you in any way. This could be people as well. Some of you have to end relationships in your life because there's new people coming in. These new energies that are going to help your world really expand. I'm feeling that some of you are going to meet people, someone in your life, new energy that is going to open you up to a whole new experience, an experience you've never felt before, which is tapping into these new emotions. It's the new emotions that I'm really excited about because whatever these are, this is going to give you hope. There's like this ignition of desire. There's this ignition of, you know, the dreams and those manifestations. They're very real here, my friends. I feel that you can see them very clearly and these are going to trickle in. It, it, that's how it works in my own life experience. When the universe opens a new door, when you make sacrifices, when you start putting that effort and hard work, that love, care and nurture towards the things that you want to see growth in and, and, and putting an end to the things that don't benefit you, Things start to trickle in and this is how it happens in my life. They come in small little things, small waves. And then it comes into, it turns into like this big tsunami of abundance. And it, it can be overwhelming in a good way because I'm experiencing this right now, this big wave of abundance coming through all areas of my life. And I feel that some of you are going to feel this tsunami of abundance. It's not going to pull outward. I feel it's going to remain there. And you're going to feel this almost sense of calm, this sense of peace, this sense of serenity, almost heavenly like. And <laughs> I'm getting like this awe feeling where some of you are kind of like, I can't believe this is actually happening. This is actually for real happening. So believe in the power of you because it's you that's creating this. It's your belief in yourself. It's that belief that you can overcome anything. It's that belief that the universe and spirit guides are working in your favor. It's the belief in yourself that is making this a reality. That you are someone that is capable of reaching these heights, of bringing these beginnings into your life. All right, so beautiful beginnings are in the, on the horizon here for you, Geminis. Embrace and be open and receptive to this. This could come in the form of a new position where... And this door opens and you land this job. Everyone is beautiful and happy. It's something that you have been desiring for a long time. For some of you, this is a leveling up in your career. For some of you, you are leaving a job and opening up a new business. This is where you've wanted to be. And of course, each new beginning comes with its own challenges, its own ups and downs. But this is all new. This is all things that you can handle here, Gemini's. It's a beautiful world. That's what's happening here. You're entering this new chapter, this new world. And it's a world that you've never ever experienced before. And that's the beauty of it. And you can create what it is that you want through your thoughts, through your feelings, through your emotions. 
All right, so this is your reading through the tarot cards. I'm now going to pull a bonus card here from this deck. It's called the L Key Oracle. I've used it on my channel before. So I've been pulling Savage a lot. So let's see what we get here for you. This is all, uh, this deck is all about brave warrior women. All right, Gemini. So let's see what we get here for you. Let's split this deck and get the card on top of the middle of this. Amelie, she who questions, curiosity, destiny, and search. Amali. So look at that, curiosity. So it's there. And you know that curious nature is coming through because some of you are seeing the signs and you're kind of like, huh, I wonder what that means. Where am I headed here? Because the signs are there. I can feel it, right? So let me read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. Amali. Thank goodness for this deck being in alphabetical order because some decks have, the, I have the hardest time finding um, the interpretation. So Amali, she who questions, welcomes you. She wears an assortment of vivid flowers and honors the many tendrils. Each one is a possibility, a chance, an unexpected happening. Her gift is to see which one will open next. She who questions welcomes questions because she loves giving answers that lead to more questions. She is the sacred circle of the oracle. Do not be dismayed if, you search, if your search seems to lead you to more questions. It is Amelie's preferred way. Amelie shows that you have other pa paths in front of you. There are avenues you can take that you may not even see yet. Be ready for the unexpected signpost pointing you towards a completely different way. Destiny can sometimes be tricky because you may be pulling for the wrong shore. Stop for a moment in your seeking. Tap into your natural curiosity and question things, Geminis. Even those people who have always seemed one way and only one way may have hidden paths. Your job is to re-examine what your thought. Your job is to re-examine what you thought truth was. Chances are good you will be given an opportunity to make some changes. Remember the circle can come be... Remember, the circle can become a spiral, so rather than leading you back to your own beginning, it may take you up or down. Your skill at questioning will help you find your way. Gemini's, what a beautiful card. Look at the visuals. The, the message on, in this card, I feel, is aligning to your reading so well and to the star card. This card is also about questions and receiving answers through the universe and spirit guides, even through yourself by looking within yourself for those answers. So that is your message through the bonus card. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, let's see what we get here for you. Number 444, I am protected. You Geminis are protected. If you've been seeing four fours everywhere, this is your confirmation that you, my friends, are always protected. Let me read you this uh, message. Trust your journey, Gemini. Trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. Look at that. So no matter where you are in life, you're meant to be in that place. And then from there, you grow upwards, my friends, and you are protected. Know that. So this is your reading today. This is your message. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.